Hopefully we'll make it back to the mainland. Here we go! Get him up, get him up! Oh, we're on again! Have a go at that shark right there. Breakfast. I'm trying to figure out a way to describe to you guys how good this actually is. Strap yourselves in, we're on a 24 hour camping mission. This one's gonna be super fun. What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. We are going on a little bit of a camping adventure out here in the Stavey Craft. We are dragging two lures behind the boat right now. We've got a lot of bait coming up on the sounder. This is what's going on on the boat right now. We've got Raddy out here, the handline master. We've got his Mrs. Tess, she's a captain. Look at the bait. We've got heaps of bait on the screen again. Down here in the cabin, we've got one swag, two swags, a little bit of camping stuff. Obviously, we've got the pie warmer or the pie oven loaded up with pies. Here we go. That's a double hookup. Boys are on the doubles right now. Go, Raddy, get him up. Get him up, get him up. All right, first fish of the trip. We've got two rat sambos on the deck. That's not the fish we come for, but it's a little bit of a start. Double hookups, eh? That didn't take long at all. We're out here for a big couple, a couple of big tuna or possibly a big dirty mackerel, but um, that right there. Oh, he's a very excited. Oh, look at it, man. It's covered in blue bottles. If you got, I don't know if you guys can pick this up on the camera right now, but it is covered in blue bottle stingers. There's heaps of blue bottles out here right now. If you don't know what a blue bottle is, they sting you, they bloody hurt. They're gonna get their hooks out of these fish and put them back. Cheers, bros. Ow! Boom. All right, that didn't take long at all. I'm pretty sure they were actually amberjack, not sambos. I didn't even look at them, it was chaotic. We just got them up, put them straight back. But Captain here reckons she's got a playlist that's gonna catch fish. She actually works, works on boats. So um, she's gonna put a playlist on right now and we are gonna see if this actually works. We're after tuna or after mackerel, one of the two. But uh, hit that playlist, young lady, let's hit it. <laughs> let's see if this actually works. Look at this. Glamour day. Oh, listen to the tunes. Let's go. Oh! Oh, right, we're on again. We're on doubles. Doubles again. Oh, this thing's screaming, Brussy. Go on, get him up, get him up. Yeah, we're on to good fish now. Oh, That's bigger, oh, eh? That's yeah. That's <laughs> <It's> giving him <laughs> hell. <laughs> oh, this is chaos out here right now. I can't even put a bloody GoPro on my head. Brad, oh, look at the shark at the back of the boat. Oh no, that's a big fish. That's my fish. Oh no. I thought it was a shark, but it's my fish. Oh, it's a yellowfin tuna. We've got a big dirty yellowfin on here. Hey! That is a good chewer. That there is a yellowfin, my doggies. That's one fish on. Let's help Brad out. Oh, right, this is chaos out here right now. We've only had these lines in the... These lures in the water for, I don't know, 10 minutes after those two amberjack or sambos. And Raddy's onto a slob, I think. I got mine up. Beautiful, beautiful yellowfin tuna. Yeah, Raddy. Rat's got yellowfin too. Oh, that's why he's fighting hard. Yes. Got him in the side. Got a gap in it. That's it. That's it. Ow! Woo! <laughs> I straight into the Yeah, <laughs> doggy. <laughs> That is what we come for. Hey, Captain. <laughs> the music works. The music, man. It's all about the music. Ow! Now, these are the fish we've come out for. That right there is a yellowfin tuna. One of my favorite fish to eat fresh. We're gonna sashimi these up later on on sunset. We're sleeping on the boat tonight. We've got some bloody good food on the deck. Look at these things. We're gonna quickly put them to sleep. There's my one. Look at Raddy's one. Good fish, Brussy. We haven't been out here for too long. They're a good looking fish. Beautiful eating fish fresh. Look at the colors in them. Yeah, boys, we're on. All right, we're gonna drag another lure around and put these things in the Ooh. ice. Yeah, brother, good job. The rods are coming in. We've been trolling for probably about an hour now. We haven't even had a sniff. It was red hot when we got out here. Now we haven't got bugger all. So we've got two big dirty yellow fit in the bag right now. That's more than enough food. 
So we're going to punch in around the other side of an island which is over the back here and uh, see where the afternoon takes us. We don't even know what we're doing. We're just fully winging this mission but um, we've got two big yellow fins who are eating good already. Let's see where this afternoon takes us, eh? Doggies, this right here is home for the night. Way, well, we've picked one hell of a spot right now. We've got about a million birds. I don't know what's going on right now, but there's a heap of birds over the back there. There's like not even shit in here. There's about a million of them. They must be breeding season or mating or something. Or you can hear, I don't know if you guys can hear in the camera, but it's just birds going absolutely psycho. We've got two big dirty yellowfin tuna for dinner, which is very bloody good. We're gonna have a banging sunset over here. This is home for the night. Look at it. How good is this, eh? Have a go at that shark right there. Little baby shark here. Another one, they're not big, it's probably two. That one's about two meters. That one there is about a meter. So funny, but. Old Tess has got the world's longest GoPro stick. Give me a look at this here. This is like an old spear that I made back in the day. And on the very end of it is a GoPro. You guys would have seen just then in the drone footage, she's splashing the camera in the water and the sharks are coming right up. Oh, here, look, Go Tess, there's a shark right there. There's sharks all around us right now. <laughs> I just want him to bite the GoPro, eh? that'd be so <laughs> rad. <laughs> Alright, we've had a little bit of fun with a couple of sharks, they're eh? just circling around the boat. They're gonna circle around the boat even more because we've got a couple of slobs to cook up. Look at that. That there is the freshest tuna you're ever gonna to put to your mouth or put to your lips. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a little bit of its top shoulder off. So I'm just gonna come in behind that petrol fin there. Come down the back. Oh man, we've been talking about fresh sashimi the whole day and that's what we're doing. Follow this down. We just want a little square. Wow. Look at that. That is a big chunk of fresh tuna meat. It's about to get the shimmied up. A little bit of soy sauce right here. We've all been, all of our mouths have been watering for this, so we're gonna uh, put a little bit of slices into that and get it in our mouths. Looks good, eh? That's as fresh as it gets. Oh, big dog's here. He's coming in. I'm throwing little scraps over the side, and that shark is just into it heavy. What we're doing is, gonna get this crazy sharp knife and just take off. Beautiful little pieces of fish like that. Oh man, my mouth's actually watering. 
There you go, champ. You can have a little bit. Got a chopping board. A couple of little layers of fresh tuna. We've got a lemon. I'm going to bust that lemon in half. First thing we're going to do is get a bit of that lemon juice there. We're just going to... De oh, that is a juicy lemon, eh? Straight from the field day homestead. A little bit of lemon juice. A little bit of sweet soy sauce. Can you give that a drizzle? Just like that. That's dinner. Well, that's starters anyway. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Incredibly good. Oh my goodness. How good is that? No one says anything. No. It honestly doesn't get as fresh as that. That's some incredibly good sashimi right there. We've got sharks down here. We've got 100 million birds in the sky. We've got a banging sunset behind the camera right now. What more could you want? Look at that sunset. It is a living. trying to describe and we're trying to figure out a way to describe to you guys how good this actually is it's impossible to say it on camera hey oh, yeah it just it literally mouth. just melts in your mouth like as soon as you drop that right there in your gob it just melts away all right we've just stepped up the game on the boat i thought we had no food well we kind of have no food but um someone's just come out and said oi look what i got we got the gas cooker out we have rice, man. <laughs> Good job, champ. Look at that sunset over there. That's off its head. We're sitting here smashing the rice and tuna, and we just seen this big old squid come straight up the back of the boat. Of course, the handline mast over has got his tiny handline out. We're trying to get that squid back around the back of the boat. There's a shark down the back there, look. That's a shark. Where's that squid gone? Shark right there. <laughs> get that squid, man. You're gonna catch that shark. Look, he's coming right up, man. We have just had one of the best feeds, watched one of the best sunsets. Still sunny, still setting over there right now. All the jammies, a couple of cold beers. We're gonna sit here in the boat. We're gonna have a yarn. Good company, good sunsets, even better food. That is what life is all about. It's us, this is us for the night. One swag's getting rolled out down there. One swag's getting rolled out on the deck out the back. We're gonna have a kip, wake up in the morning and see where the morning takes us. So we'll see you then doggies. Until then, much love. So Good bloody morning to you my doggies. Welcome to another day on the boat. Look at where we've just woken up. This has got to be one of the most incredible sunrises I've experienced in a little while. Not a breath of wind. This right here is just fully blown glass. Look at the water right now.
you guys would have seen on the drone. Tiger shark just swimming out the back there, heaps of little sharks. You can see Bolchin Gropa legitimately sitting on that little, little chunk of reef behind me there. Water is so good, man. We're gonna go for a swim, we're gonna make a coffee, we're gonna kickstart our day in the right way, and then we're gonna uh, see where today takes us. We're gonna fill up the fuel, fill up the boat with a bit of fuel, but man, this is our morning right now. Dude, look at it. Wow. Wow. Oh man, that, that is so good. Now this is how every bloody morning should be started. A couple of coffees, I'm gonna rip these tabs off here. Oh, we just went for a swim. Make it a couple of coffees now. Fill up the boat and we're just gonna punch today and explore, maybe jump in, go for a dive. We've got no idea what's gonna, what's gonna happen, but um, this is how we like it. Look at this. Whoa, these conditions are off their head right now. We just had a couple of coffees, we've been for a swim, we pulled up the anchor and we're off. We're just um, cruising along this little bit of a ledge right now. We're just gonna see if we can gather ourselves a little bit of breakfast. Man, it's such a nice morning right now. I'm legitimately driving the boat. It's about, we're sitting at eight meters of water and I can see fish, starfish. I can see all the fish on the bottom. It's so beautiful, man. We're gonna go see if we can get ourselves a little bit of breakfast. We just got out of the water. What we said to ourselves, we just wanted one crayfish for breakfast. We're gonna share a crayfish. So, we got one. It's a good one. That's a decent crayfish. That's what we call like a jumbo. And then, I got another one while we're down there. So that's your standard size crayfish. And then that's your big dog there. That's breakfast. We're gonna cook these things up. Man, look how good they're gonna be. Let's start cooking. I'm bloody freezing. How's that down there for a little bit of breakfast? That is what we're gonna be eating for breakfast. <clears throat> put the crayfish asleep, you just grab a knife, come straight in diagonally through there. It's still moving, but it's just its nerves. Crayfish has been asleep for a little while now, so we're just gonna get a knife, just run around the back of his shell like this. Twist and pull, boom. And that there is a big chunk. Crayfish meat, that's what we're gonna cook up for breakfast. We'll rip the other one off as well. Look at that white, juicy meat there. Oh, that's impressive for a shitty little knife. <clears throat> Get that poo tube out of there. Don't need that. 
breakfast. How many times have I said breakfast in the last 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, I know, we are. We're all starving. Big chunks, fresh tuna, caught yesterday Arvo. We're going straight in here. That down there is breakfast. Have a go at this. We've got fresh crayfish tail, big chunks of tuna, half raw on the inside, just so we like it. Here, we've got some fresh sea grapes, which are harvested from the bottom of the ocean. And then here, it's gonna pour the juices from that tray on those crayfish tails there. Bro. All right, dig in crew. See you guys. We call it uh, right from the ocean. Lato. That's what we call it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super salty, eh? Really nice with gin as well. Big chunk of crayfish, breakfast. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. It's so good, eh? <laughs> One of the best things about catching one of those big crayfish are the legs. Look at the size of these legs. Look at that bit of meat right there. We're back. We are back on dry land. We made it. That was an incredibly fun little trip. We came back with a bee's dick of fuel in that boat, in that fuel tank. We were pushing it. Jerry cans were completely dry. That was a super fun trip. Just come in right now, it is 3.30 in the Arvo. So it was a good little mission. We got a fair bit of beautiful fresh food from the ocean. Look at this thing down here. Oh, he's taking his, he's taking his kill home. <laughs> Doesn't even fit in the bucket, mate. <laughs> That's the biggest bucket I've got. How yeah, good, eh? <laughs> All right, my doggies. That is it from us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, I bloody love you guys. And we'll see you on the next video in the next adventure. See you next week. Soo! Aight!